What happened after Alice said goodbye to all of her friends in Wonderland? They were all just so sad and heartbroken. But what really happened to them after she left? All the animals' memories were erased, but some could remember very little and it drove them insane trying to figure out what really was missing from their mind. One being the Cheshire Cat. He kept an eye on the rabbit's pocket watch, thinking it had magical powers and could go back in time to see Alice again. It's so mad thinking that the rabbit has kept this secret from him and in an attempt to steal this pocket watch, he blinds him, but doing so kills the rabbit. But the pocket watch? It was just an ordinary watch. The rabbit was dead and the madness soon consumed the cat. Hello my loves! Right, today we're starting with the jumbo pencil and iced mocha and we're just going to be sketching out the cat's face and hand or paw, you know. And we're going to take the white SFX cream colour and just carve that out and fill it in. Next up, we're going to get that grey shade from the Ultimate Edit Palette in Ash and we're just going to fill in again those features we lost before. So the eyes, nose, mouth, just so we get that back and have a base. We're going to be taking the Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Stone Fox and now we're just going to be creating that far. So just making small short lines and because we've already laid down that cream base it's going to mix so we're going to get different shades of grey. And also going in with that grey shade again from that palette. Next up Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Little Denim Duress. And we're just going to make in those pops of blues throughout the fur and the eyes. So just laying down that as a base again, where we're going to put in more details in a second. Using the Ultimate Edit Brights palette, we're going in with the blue and the green shades. You don't have to do this neatly. We're just trying to get that shade packed on because we're going to build up the color. Taking those yellow and mustardy colours from the Swear Buy It palette and carving out those teeth using the lighter shade in the middle of the teeth and the darker, more brown shades on the outwards of the teeth, giving that more 3D look. Next, we're going to be taking up the vinyl liquid liner and carving out those teeth, filling in all those gaps as well, creating that negative space. Took the pink shade from the Swear Buy It palette and shaded in the nose. Took a black from the palette, shaded in the eyes and shaded in the shadows around the nose. And the pigment primer and the Peacock and Twinkle Twinkle pigment, packing that onto the eyes, giving that a really nice dual chrome effect. Taking the Vivid Brights liners in Envy and Sapphire and making those lines towards the pupil, rounding it off, giving a really nice 3D effect. And taking that Epic Ink Liner and filling in that pupil, take your time with this, have a nice steady hand, and also now you can carve out the actual eye with the eyeliner. Taking the White Liquid Liner and making those reflection dots in the eyes, so I just did two small dots in each eye and two elongated lines. Taking the Vivid Brights in yellow and I wanted to add a little bit more detail. So I did the exact same technique with the blue and the green where I took from the outer edge into the pupil and I took the blue sapphire and took that throughout the fur to give a more hairy effect. And I took the fire um, as the gums at the bottom of the teeth and the white again going in with the claws. Also taking that white throughout the rest of the fur on the face and the paws. Just so we're getting a lot of texture going on with the fur. 
Also taking the Epic Ink Liner and doing the exact same thing, creating that more defined butter, a little bit more shadow. And don't forget about the whiskers, using that white liquid liner to create the whiskers. Now we're going to be taking that yellow SFX cream colour and carving out the pocket watch and the chain. Taking some of that white, laying down a good base in the centre of the watch and going in with that grey shade in the outer corners and going in with a deeper greyer shade to get that really nice faded 3D look. And I'm taking that deeper mustard colour we used earlier also to give shadow to the pocket watch and going in with the halo liquid liner as a highlight in the contrast of that mustard shade. Taking that contour and highlight pro palette creating a shadow around of the wrist of the cat and the bottom to the right side of the pocket watch giving that shadow laying down a lighter contour shade first and then a deeper contour shade closest to the pocket watch we're also going to get that black and put that to the bottom of the wrist closest to the skin giving a nice shadow effect and we're also carving out where our skin will be open so as you can see carving it also painting in the grey at the bottom. I wasn't sure where I was going with this at this time but decided to make it to fur instead. Also took the Epic Ink liner and followed those lines we had created. So I took the Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation on the lighter parts where we didn't put down that shadow therefore creating a light dark light dark effect which gives a more ripple of the skin look. Taking that Pro Foundation Mixer and using that as the highlight on the skin. It's not as harsh as a white is, so this is much more natural, giving that a really good, realistic look. And blending out those harsher lines with the contour. Taking the Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and we are just going to be carving it where we want our rabbit skull to be. Taking the Be Gone Makeup Removing Wipes, we're just going to carve out and have a much cleaner look. I ended up going too far out with my skull, so perfect having the wipes there. Taking that HD Finishing Powder and setting all that down. So I map out where I want the skull and skull details to be with a grey eyeshadow from the Swear By It palette. And then I go over that with the Stone Fox Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. And then I go in with that grey eyeshadow. Now we're just going to be creating those, yeah, shadows in the skull. So wherever there's a, a deep bend, go deeper in. So go with a, a deeper grey. And then I lost a bit of that definition, so I go back in with that white cream SFX colour. And carve it out. And then I also take the black eyeshadow after that and go on again and create more and more shadow creating more depth so taking that from the outwards and blending it in to the center it's a very back and forward process adding the shadow and adding lightness again so do this until you're happy with your look taking that epic ink liner and creating some little small cracks in the skull to just make some fine lines looking like veins <laughs> and I take it down the center of the skull as well where the, the skull would have fused together and that SFX cream color with some mixing medium and we're just going to be filling in that empty space around the skull and the head 
also taking that jumbo pencil and milk and covering the eyes and in our waterline as well and that white liquid liner and creating highlights on the edges of the skull and anywhere that's right next to the shadow creating a more 3d effect and time for blood we're going to be using the kitten heels liquid suede cream lipstick we're going to be putting that around the cat and in its fur since it's coming through our chest you know you need some blood taking the contour shades from the content highlight palette creating a shadow around the droplets of the blood and then i mix together the sfx cream in white and the glow on lip gloss in floral space as the highlight for the blood and then i added a little special something in the end you will see wish me luck guys thanks for